more and more people are seeing right through, you know, Vice President Kamala Harris as a person that likes to play both sides because we understand that Kamala has a Jamaican father and an East Indian mother. And what one minute Kamala is saying that she's Asian, the next minute she's saying that she's black. So she likes to play both sides. And in this dispensation of time, we can't have people playing both sides. We can't have that. Case in point, let's listen to what our sister has to say about that. Squeeze bottle head ho actually had the audacity to address black America when she has done absolutely nothing to help out black communities this entire presidency. Kamala Harris is one of those biracial people who likes to only use her blackness when it's beneficial to her. When it's beneficial to her gaining some type of political one-up. At any other time, she is more than willing to soft shoe tap dance around any type of issue that has to do with black America. At this point, can we just agree that the relationship between black America and the Democratic Party is low-key toxic? It's toxic. It really is. I'm talking about toxic in a sense to where they constantly beat and abuse us. They constantly cheat on us. They constantly lie to us. Yet somehow, when that four-year mark is starting to come to an end, now they want to give us little flowers and little gifts and trinkets and shit and tell us that they'll never do it again and that they sorry and, and that they love us. Only to turn around and do the shit again once we let them back into the office. See, Kamala Harris is the type of person that you know, she definitely has dual allegiances, but her allegiance definitely is more to herself. So whatever side she got to play that day, she's going to play. Hey, if I get around black folks, okay, hey, I'm black like you. And then she get around Asians. Hey, I'm, I'm Asian like you. I'm an East Indian. And black Americans can't do that. We can't jump in and out of different communities saying what we are, right? We are in it. When people look at a person like myself, I am a black American. I can't go jump into the Hispanic community. I can't go jump into the Asian community. I can't go jump into the Arab community. I can't go jump in other communities. I am all in in black America. And that's fine because that's what God created me to be, is a black American man. And so my allegiance is gonna be 10 toes down on what we have to do as black Americans. Cause I can't go to no other community. Cause I'm number one, I'm not gonna be accepted there like that. If you go to other communities, you are a guest over there. You're, you're not part of their particular group and their particular families. And that's quite all right because we have our own over here, right? And like I told everybody, we have not had the first black American president. We haven't, not yet. That's a part of our lineage. We had a first lady that was our lineage, but we haven't had a, a president. And then look at it when we had Barack Obama. We say, oh, he's a black president, but he had a dual allegiance too. Because every time you look up, he's trying to please them folks. His mother is one of the folks. So that's a dual allegiance right there, at least with him. Now, I will not indict all people like that, okay, who have the mother or father of a different community, because I've seen some people with a mother or father of a different community be hardcore for black America more than some black folks with two black parents. So I'm not going to ever indict all of them, but I'm just saying in the political sphere that what we have seen with Kamala Harris and Barack Obama, they've been the type to do that. It used to get on my nerves to watch Barack Obama cowering down to Mitch McConnell. Like what? You the president of the United States. And then when Trump get in there, he can care less. He could care less about anybody. He was kicking the door in and doing what he wanted to do on the first day. And that's when people say, oh, really? So the president do kind of got a little power to do some things, right? Because the way Obama had it, oh, my hands tied Congress, and then, you know, what am I supposed to do? You understand? So that's the good thing about Trump's presidency. It changed the game completely, completely changed it. But yeah, more and more people seeing through, you know, VP Harris, they seeing through her. But that's why people, you got to think about it. She tried to run for president and she flopped. Why? Because she could not connect with the people like that. So she had to go ride Joe Biden's coattails to get in that White House.